In this video, I'm going to show you how the THU multi-row arrangement works. Let's start by adding an amplifier to the sound chain. I'll just drag it in right here. When I do that, THU asks if I want to add the match cabinet. I'll go ahead and say yes. Let's say I want to add a tube screamer pedal before the amp. I'll drag it into the sound chain and THU highlights all the possible placement spots. If I place it before the amp, I get a simple, linear sound chain where the signal flows from left to right. But what if I want to add a row of pedals above the amp? No problem. I'll start by dragging the tube screamer up here into this area above the amp. Check out the cable. The guitar signal now runs to the tube 9 first, then into the amp. I can keep adding more pedals after the tube 9, and they'll all connect in sequence before hitting the amp. This allows me to keep all the models visible on the display. Alright, now let's say I change my mind and want everything back in a single row. No problem. I just drag this multi-row icon over the cable leading to the second row to remove the line break. And if I want to split a single row into two rows instead, I can do the same thing just like this. Let's talk about the parallel sound chain. It's a different feature. This lets you split the signal into two separate effect lines and then mix them back together at the end. For example, if I want to blend the tones of two different amps, I can place one on the upper row and the other on the lower row. The input signal gets split right here and it's sent to both the 51 and the high watt amp at the same time. Then they get mixed together by this mixer. After that, I can add more models like a cabinet, for example. So, to sum it up, the guitar signal gets split, processed in parallel by both amps, then mixed together before going into the cabinet model. With the mixer, I can even make the tone stereo by panning one amp to the left and the other to the right. I can also adjust the balance between the two amps just like this.